I will consistently veto anything that is one-time money that is being used for recurring dollars. Ranks is one of the most unconscionable acts a governor could ever, unconscionable vetoes that she could ever make. That's not who we are. That's not what we do in South Carolina anymore. Unfortunately, Governor Haley said that she was going to veto any long-term funding source for our roads, and that meant that the only thing that the legislature could do was to take money from schools, take money from police, take money from other areas, and use that money uh, to try to rebuild the roads of the state. If you ask folks in Columbia, many say since Governor Nikki Haley took office, they've seen the typical bickering about how the state's money should be spent. Yeah, sort of a partisan back and forth there, but it's not just along party lines. It's often between the governor's office and the legislature itself that stalled discussions on how to solve our state's biggest problems like roads. Uh, now that new leadership is on the way, some lawmakers think that could change. And 7 News reporter Robert Kittle explains how having Henry McMaster as governor could lead to getting more things done. This past legislative session, lawmakers talked about a gas tax increase as a way to fix our roads. But Governor Nikki Haley vowed to veto it unless lawmakers also passed an even bigger tax cut. The South Carolina Alliance to Fix Our Roads doesn't know where Henry McMaster stands on that issue, but thinks he'll have a better shot at finding a solution. I think it's going to be a more positive approach. You know, I think Henry, from my experience in observing him in the past, he's been one of those who works seeking compromise. Senator Gerald Malloy thinks there's a better chance lawmakers will make progress, but not because of a new governor. And I think the people are going to cry out and say, you know what, we have to live first. And, you know, our homes are flooding and our roads are horrible. And so what can we do to help with our infrastructure needs? Governor Haley hasn't always gotten along well with the legislature. You might remember one year she gave out report cards with bad grades for lawmakers who disagreed with her. And she actively campaigned against some lawmakers. Another big issue facing the state is responding to the school equity lawsuit by rural districts. Senator John Corson chairs the Senate Education Committee and has been friends with McMaster for 50 years. I think he is a principal conservative, as is Governor Haley, and I think he will take a conservative approach to education on policy as well as funding. But he doesn't know if lawmakers will come up with a solution next year. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 News. I mean, this isn't new, right? Uh, you remember Haley's predecessor, Mark Sampert, showed up at the legislature with pigs <laughs> under each arm to talk about Bird pork. Mm -hmm. They hated that at the legislature, right. so maybe this is different. Yeah, we should point out McMaster met with Governor Haley last week to start preparing for a smooth transition. He's named two Columbia business people to help him start planning the transition. They are Ed McMullen and Bill Stern.